Family and friends are mourning the loss of 23 year old Britran Gray, who was shot and killed Friday morning at a McDonald's drive through. WMAR 2 News' Nordea Lewis sat down with them. She tells us how he's being remembered. His family is devastated that his life ended abruptly and violently. Betran, or Train, as he's known to his loved ones, was working the overnight shift at McDonald's when the shooter walked up to the drive through then shot and killed him. It happened in Gambrose on the 1100 block of Crane Highway. Police think Train was targeted, but they didn't say why. However, the 23-year-old's friends and family say there's no way he could have been targeted. They say Train was not the type to engage in criminal activity. His loved ones are also upset by the way the McDonald's handled his death. According to them, hours after Train died on his shift, McDonald's called in more employees to get things back up and running just in time for lunch. It really made us feel like they did not care about what had happened. And that's very traumatizing for all of the employees as well. They should have never asked for the employees to do that, in my opinion. We went to the McDonald's to get a statement from them regarding what the family said about the restaurant returning back to business hours after Train's death, but they declined to comment. However, Friday, they wrote the following. We are saddened by the tragic loss of our friend and colleague. Our thoughts are with the employee's loved ones. We are in the process of offering our employees counseling and working with law enforcement in their ongoing investigation. But Train's family still wants answers. Uh, shocking is, is not a strong enough word um, to say what happened, uh, especially since there was been, there's been a few times in Recently, well, we've had tragedies like this. As if anyone knows anything uh, about this uh, incident, uh, please come forward. Police are still searching for the suspect, but Train's family is calling on the community to support their GoFundMe to put Train to rest. And you could find that link on our website, WMAR2news.com.